Testing, testing, testing. All right, hi everybody. Today I'm going to be walking you through the 2023 Notion dashboard template that I designed for the new year. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So just a quick disclaimer before we get in, this isn't going to be a full in-depth Notion tutorial. Notion is an extremely robust platform and app that has so many different uses and you could really just go on forever. So I'm gonna take you through the very simple basics um, of how to use this template, how to customize it yourself, and just some quick tips on how to get started. And if you have any Notion questions, Notion has an amazing website and with tons of resources and there's so many amazing tutorials online that will walk you through more in-depth Notion tutorials. But today I'm just going to walk you through the 2023 planner and yeah, just take you through it and show you how to get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a Notion account. It is completely free. So you'll make a free Notion account and then you can go to theflourishplanner.com and purchase your your 2023 Notion Planner. I will also have it linked below of this video and you'll get your download guide, which will take you to this link that you see here on the screen. So this is what you will see when you hit the link and all you're gonna do is go up here and you're gonna hit duplicate. And this is going to duplicate the template onto your account so that you can customize it and make it your own. So then this is what you will see when you download. It's literally that simple. All you have to do is just hit duplicate and here you are. So this is your main homepage of your Notion planner. So this is your main dashboard and hub that you will come back to. And you can see here you have some quick links on the side that I will go through all of these different pages. Here you have progress, which shows you how far you are through the year, month, week, and day, which is kind of cool. And then here you just have a quick snapshot of kind of what's going on. You have important tasks and follow-ups, current priorities, and currently reading. Of course, you can change these by just quickly going in and changing it to, you know, whatever you want. You can do currently listening to or whatever you want this to say. So you can customize it in that way, same here. If you don't want this, you could put reminders and customize it any way you want. And if you ever wanna add one of these little boxes, all you have to do is click these dot, these six dots here and you'll hit duplicate and it will create another one. That simple and then, oop, and then you can go in and type in you know, whatever you want. Scrolling down, here you have your goals at a glance. So this is just a quick snapshot at what you're working towards. So you have small goals, big goals, dreams, and completed. So you can write in some of your short-term and long-term goals so that way you can just have them right at the forefront to get reminded of what you're working towards and to get inspired and motivated for the day or the week. And then over here you have a little timestamp which I will show you how to customize at the end of this video. Here you have your weekly habits which actually connect to your planner which I will show you in a little bit. And here you have reminders. So moving in over here, let's go into the planner. So this is the planner that you have. So you over here, you can put in all of your to-do list tasks for each day. Here you have a monthly overview and you can switch through the months here. You can also add in different items. All you have to do is click plus and you can plan your month and add in all your different events. And that's just how you can kind of add in different things throughout the month. Then over here you have a, you know, a section to put what would make this week great. It's a good place to put an intention or something for the week. You have some weekly goals and then your to-do list, which you can, you know, add on forever if you want. Just keep adding things. Just hit enter and it just adds as you go. Here you have your weekly habits, which connect to your homepage, like I was saying. Um, so when you check off something here, it will check off here as well. So they're connected. Um, and then here you just have a simple notes spot. And then whenever you're done with the week, you can just delete and start over and have a fresh week. So that is the planner. Going back, you have your goals over here. So here you have a place to put five different goals, your main goals that you're working towards right now. And then towards the bottom, you have a place to kind of map out those goals a little bit more and put your why and some action steps here. And 
you can do that with all of your goals and of course you can continue to add on this all you have to do is just click those six dots hit duplicate and it will add this section so really fun really great place to put your goals then here you have your vision boards, which is just a simple place to upload your vision boards that you make. Um, you can make these in Canva. I have so many tutorials um, every single month on my channel. We make monthly vision boards in Canva. So if you wanna check any of those out, you can see me make these. I love making them every month. And yeah, so you can just add them here so you can look back at them you know, to get inspired and get motivated. Going into your ideal routine, Routines. This is just a place where you can put in a quick snapshot of what you want your routines to look like. So you can just go in here and you can add in, you know, the time and your habit of choice. And you can do that for all of these sections here. And of course, you can customize these if you don't want to put an afternoon routine. You can put in a weekend routine, a Sunday routine, totally customize it however you want. Then you have your habit tracker, which is a monthly habit tracker. And this is separate from the weekly habit tracker that you have on your homepage and in your planner, because I tried to connect them and having the full monthly habit tracker looked super wonky. And with all of the dates there, it just was getting too busy. So I did separate them. So this is more of your hub for people who wanna track certain habits over time to see your consistency or to see how you feel based on doing these habits. I view the weekly habit tracker as more of like just little reminders to yourself of just quick and easy habit tracking to just remind yourself of those healthy habits that you wanna do every week. Whereas this is more of a true habit tracker where you can write in the date and track it over a long period of time to just see how consistent you're being with some of your habits. So. All you have to do to add a new one of these is just click new and then you tap on the empty square and you can click any one of these dates, whatever the corresponding date is. Here, you can just go in and edit your habits by just clicking and editing the habits. To hit um, a new one, all you have to do is click plus and go down here and add a check, spot, check box. <laughs> and then you can you know, type in your habit um, and then you can just drag it and bring it over to be with the other habits you have. Then you have your journal, which I love journaling in Notion because it is easier than writing it down with your hand and paper because it's just faster and you can get out your thoughts faster and that stream of consciousness. And it's a little bit more personal than doing it in like a Google Doc or something. So all you have to do to add a new journal entry is just hit new. And then you can just go ahead and put the title, you can put the date and then, you know, type, type your heart out and journal, journal it up. So that's your journal. Moving on, you have your self-care hub, your self-care doc, which is not really a planner or a tracker in any way. It's just a place to come when you are feeling down or you need some grounding, you need just those reminders of what is gonna make you feel good. So here you have some mindset reminders. I love looking at this first thing in the morning to um, just remind myself of what I'm trying to bring in to the day. And then here you have different categories, um, mind, body, soul, and environment. Of course, those are just the ones that I chose for myself, but you can edit this and change the categories to be whatever uh, is you know, relevant in your life. And then you can just put in different reminders, different things that you do for each of these categories that can help ground you if you're ever having one of those days where you really feel like you need something and you can go to this list and say, okay, what can I do? What are the things that bring me joy? What are the things that ground me? And you have this whole hub here dedicated to that. So that's more of just a little self-care reminder. Then you have your book tracker, which I'm really excited about because I love books and I know a lot of you guys do too. I don't know why this little screen recording thing is right here, um, but we're just gonna ignore that for right now. But um, here you have a section to put your reading goals of the year, um, your little books read tracker, just hit the plus and minus to add books. Then here you have your full book reviews. So when you click into one of these, you will have your title up here, author, genre, which you can, uh, select from here 
rating, which you can select from here as well, your cover, which you can just add in the file or the image there, and then you have about, review, and your favorite quotes. So this is a place to put your full book reviews, which I love having if you don't want to put your full thoughts and feelings on Goodreads, because I know for me, I have a lot of thoughts on books, but I don't always like posting them publicly to something like Goodreads. And I just wanna have like my review for myself as like a note to myself. So I actually really love having this. To add a new book, all you have to do is click new. And then here, new book template, and you'll click that and it will add in all of those different sections. And then of course, you can just add in the title of your book, the author, genre, and the cover here. You will just choose a file and that will be the cover that will show up as the little thumbnail image right there. I'm gonna delete this by just hitting those buttons, delete. And yeah, love having that. And then here is your TBR, uh, your TBR list, which means to be read if you're not familiar with that terminology. Um, and here you'll just put the book title, the author, genre, and then your like TBR. If you're starting at ASAP, like it's gonna be the next book you read. You have upcoming, which means it's not immediately next, but it is, I, I am gonna read it soon. And then someday is like, I know I'm gonna read this, but I don't have a desire to read it anytime soon, but I knew, I know eventually I want to read it. Um, and you can add in those and then you have notes here. Then we have our chores list, which is the last uh, section here. So you have a place to put the task, the frequency of the task, uh, when it was last done and when you need to do it next. So this is great for chores that are a little bit more intensive, like, you know, cleaning your whole bathroom, washing your sheets, uh, you know, mopping, de like these are the things that, you know, you might not be doing every time you clean, but you know, you should probably be doing them like every few weeks or every month. Um, and that's just a nice way to track your chores. All right, now I wanna show you how to kind of level up your notion with widgets using this website called Indify, I think. And it's completely free. You can just make a free account. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to customize this clock and a little weather widget as well. So all you have to do is go to the clock one. First, we'll do that, create the widget title. You can do anything. It's really not a big deal, the widget title. Just put whatever. And then here you can completely customize it to be you know, whatever style you want of clock. I did, I think, a digital clock. Um, and you know, you can add your local time zone, use a 24 hour clock. Um, you know, you can completely customize it to be whatever you want and add different colors and things like that. And then whenever you're ready um, and you have it the way you like it, all you have to do is click this little copy button, which copies it to your clipboard. And then you just go back to your planner. And here you can click add a block and you'll scroll down until you see embed. And when you see embed, you'll just paste that um, link in there and you'll embed it and boom, there it is, that's simple. So then you can customize your clock however you want it to. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because I already have the one I made up here. And then I'm gonna add a little weather widget down here. So all you have to do to do that is just go back to your, you know, your main page, click weather, add in your title and then you can put in wherever you live. You can put in however days. I'm just gonna do one day. And just kind of squeeze this together like this. So that's perfect for me and I'm just gonna click this little clipboard button again. Go down here, hit plus, scroll down, hit embed, paste it in there, embed it. And boom, there's my little weather widget that I have for the day. So that's just fun and you can add in different widgets, whatever you want. There's a couple other ones you can add. There's like a quote widget, image gallery, countdown. If you wanna like add a countdown to a vacation or something like that, you can play around with these and add it and customize your homepage however you like it. Um, 
And yeah, that's Notion. That is the 2023 Notion Planner. I'm really excited for you guys to use it and you know plan out your days, your weeks and months and happy planning. Happy almost 2023 and cool. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.